camera. There, I didn't have it up front. Nice to meet you. Yeah. There you are. Welcome, everyone. This is Mike. My name is Melissa Armo, and Mike is a trader. Mike, when did you do the class? Um, I think uh, earlier in the year. Really? Did you only do the class this year in 2016? Yeah, yeah. No way. It feels like you've been with me longer than that. So you live in Virginia, and are you a full-time trader? Tell me a little bit about you. No, I'm not. I, um, so I should look at the, the camera. Yeah, look at, <laughs> you can look at me. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, um, I'm not a full-time trader. I, I, um, I have a full-time job. I'm a, I'm an engineer. Okay. And, um, but, you know, I started trading like, uh, last, last year in July. And, um, but I just do it as a, as a hobby. <laughs> now, how do you do it if you have to go to work or do you work from home? Um, well, it's a, a it's a consulting job. Oh, so okay. I don't always have to, you know, you know, it's kind of flexible. So I can, you know, I can trade like an, an hour a day. So, you know, I, I can't trade every morning, but, um, but I do try to, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, when I can, I, I, I trade. That's great. So you're, you're probably there at least four days of the week in the room, right? Yeah, yeah I tried. Yeah. So when you first started out, what were you doing before you took my gap class? What were you doing? Like you said, July. What were you doing in July? Oh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm new to the market, so I, I just, uh, you know, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so I just, uh, you know, just, you know, uh -huh. fine in the dips, but that doesn't always work because, you know, if the market's falling, then, you know, you just get run over. Yeah. Um, but, you know, after trading, um, you know, I can, I can, I think I can read the markets a lot better, you know, so, you know, it's not, so I mean, it's, it's helped tremendously, you know, like, you know, just, not just in day trading, but in swing trading, you know, just, I mean, just overall. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot better. <laughs> that's wonderful. What do you think that was the number one thing that you've learned from me that's made a difference? Um, I would say uh, just a general, I mean, there's a lot of things. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know, we, can, we don't have 24 hours. <laughs> we'll do another video another time. Because I, I can't, I can't stop hearing all the wonderful things you have to say. But just one thing tonight, like, what could you say? Like, that's so cute. That thank you so much. This is so uh, nice to meet say, you. I was going to say, um, I mean, it's hard to say just one thing, so I'll just say a few things, okay? Okay. So, overall, I mean, just um, to read the charts to see if the, the stock is, is an uptrend or a downtrend, because to get that right, um, you, you know, you need to get that right in the first place. And, um, yeah. and then just, um, you know, before I would read um, the charts as like, you know, if, if it makes a, well, I just, I just, the direction, but, mm -hmm. you know, looking at, looking at it from a, you know, whether, you know, uh, it gaps or not and how much it gaps, you know, the quality of the gap, you can see, you can kind of get a clue as to where the institutional money is. Yeah. It's helped me in that in swing trading, um, but also in day trading, I just didn't know how to, you know, enter, um, mm -hmm. and, and how to exit, but you know, I mean, that's that's helped a lot. So, because um, before, you know, I don't know. It's just it's hard to explain. You know, just um, just overall, you you know, because cause, you know, like when you when you call things in the room, mm -hmm. you would say, um, you know, you say you should enter here. You know, it held here. You know, I mean, stuff, little things like that. It just kind of helps you see the big picture, you know, instead of just, um, it, it's, it just comes with experience, I guess. I mean, yeah. cause I've never, cause I think I would say for someone who's starting off in trading, they should trade with, I think I, I would highly recommend they trade with somebody who actually trade and, um, and who knows what they're doing because, cause if you just try to do it by yourself, you just, 
you don't really know. <laughs> and so I think just being straight with you, um, you know, you give perspective and, and context. Um, and so you just learn so much faster, you know. Um, That's great. Yeah, so I would say it just you just give overall direction, you know. You just keep things in perspective and you can kind of kind of see, um, you know, the market through someone who knows what they're doing, you know. Thank you. Thanks so much. Well, the one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you is because you took this amazing call that I made in the market and you have a better price than me and now I'm really jealous and I, and I looked at it tonight to see what it closed at and of course I'm I'm better today than I've ever been now with the close today when I looked at it when I got back tonight so obviously I didn't look at yours what's the what was the difference between the bid and the ask of your trade today okay. yeah so um, I bought it at um, three cents and the, now the, the spread I think is I think it's between eight and eleven that's fantastic yeah, so okay. I could That's I could definitely get filled at nine cents, you know. But I'm I'm That's gonna hold. Fantastic. It. Okay, yeah. so tell everybody what you did. Tell everyone who wasn't on my email list because I'm I'm want everyone to know what exactly did you do and why. I heard you talking about uh, that that spy trade, and so um, you know it. Uh, so I thought so, you know at, at the time it was um, it was in a downtrend because in January and February. And then we were stuck, we bounced off of I think around 180 in the spies, and then um, you know first I I bought uh, I think 300 at three cents. Okay. And then um, and I was like you know the, the, they're so cheap you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so and the thing is is like um, you know you could I could lose you know. Three cents per contract, but I could make, you know, God knows how much. And so it just, so I just, so a couple of days later, I bought two hundred more. So how much total did you spend? Tell everybody so they understand. I bought. Um, I only I got filled at three cents for for all of them. So okay. I bought five hundred in total, and so that's about fifteen hundred plus, I think three seventy five with commission. Okay. But so less than two thousand for the entire position. So your profit right now is two grand. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's the difference between what you could sell it for versus what you paid is the profit that works because you did an option trade, right? Now, what yeah. what is the benefit of doing an option versus taking a day trade using my method for someone like you? Um, see, in options, um, if you if you get people cross direction, right, then you have you have some. A lot of flexibility as, as opposed to in day trading. Because mm -hmm. you know, in day trading, if you get the direction wrong, you know, then you lose money that day. But in swing trading, um, it's a little bit more forgiving. Um, you know, as long as you get the overall direction right, so you have, you can hold on to it. You get a good amount of money, and then you're coming to New York and you're taking me to dinner. <laughs> I just let like, you know because you have a better price than me. I'm bliss now. I mean, I could have bought more and cost average my price down, and I thought about it, but I spent so much money, like, because I took a big position. I have 300, but I took it back in December, and then I figured out what I would have had to buy to pull myself price down, and I was like, forget it. It's not worth it, and I'm going to just ride it out. I knew it was good, but when you took it, and when I was talking about the market, did you have 100% conviction in what I was saying? Because every day I'd be like, bullish, bullish, bullish. And, and like, no one believed me in the room. Did you believe me at first and then you like question it? Or did you there's something here? Like, when did you actually say, was it before you took the trade? Or did you always believe what I said? Or you were like, wait a minute, this is crazy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I believed you overall. Uh -huh. But, you know, you know the market, it, it, it moves kind of slow. You know, so, so there were some some times, you know, when I was like, oh, "This is gonna work," but but the thing is, is that <laughs> it, it, um, overall, I believed you because um, you know me that you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so obviously, since you're out money, I do. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just um, it just makes sense because you know we, we held the 180, I think it was around that was about the bottom. Yeah. And it, it just and also it the. Uh, I, I'm comfortable with the risk. Oh, yeah. You know? it, it was it was just a, a, a good trade, you know. Yeah. Overall, I mean, we held the 180 on the spies, 
And, you know, even if I'm wrong, you know, it's, it's, um, it's only like $1,500, $2,000. Right. It's just a, it's just a great trade. You have to, if, if the risk to reward is that good, you have to kick trade. So, so now let me tell you, let me ask you something. And, and we were talked about this in the room. We said no piggy targets. Let's just say this thing rallies a dollar. Okay. It rallies a dollar cents. Let's just figure out. 50,000 shares, you basically have a 97 cents, you would be up $48,500. Are you going to get out of any of that or not? Oh, so it was, um, if I'm up like 50,000? 50, yeah. Um, I guess, it, yeah, I mean, I would get off half. Yes, half. okay, very good. Um, That's the answer I wanted yeah. to hear. <laughs> and if I, you know, if I think that the market's going to keep going up, pull it to like maybe December, buy it back for December expiration. Yeah. Um, you know, but I mean, I would definitely, if I'm up 50,000, I'm getting rid of that. I would have to. Well, I was going to ask you, and you said the perfect answer because $25,000, that's a lot of money to make in the trade for the risk. And you still would have, you're such a huge position, you'd still have 250 contracts that if the rest of it rides and it could be worth a couple of bucks, that's still even more money. And you have, have booked, and then if the rest flop off, it doesn't even matter. Like that's, that was a good thing. Cause you have a strike price, I think of what, 240 or is that what it is? Yeah, 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 definitely. So like you said, you could you could get something out later, continuing to look at it and seeing when we hit up over the high. It depends when we hit up over the high. The sooner we hit up over the high, the more those are gonna run faster. Well, I'm so glad that example of someone that has done normal risk that you can afford and stayed with the trade, not lost conviction, and not killed it because of fear or something and not rich but look at the potential you have now in the trade so i mean you really have done a great job with it you're you're, you're one of the people that has taken my class and that's why i think it's great to showcase someone like you that's doing well now really quickly let's talk about your day trading so how is that going as far as like let's just talk about since since well really let's go back to earning season first quarter like at the beginning of the year january and february it was your first earning season then after the class um, I was just, um, I wasn't really taking trades, but I was just watching. Really? You know? Yeah. Oh. And then, and then, um, you know, I still, I, now I can do things um, more on my own. Oh. Um, so in the beginning, you know, I would have to watch you and, you know, because my ultimate goal was so that I could do it, um, so, you know, because I, I study a lot and things like that. But, you know, but in terms of um, day trading, see, okay. I, I have this problem. I think it's just coming with experience, and personality. But I have this fear of, um, you know, actually pushing the button, you know, taking the trade, you know, the trade that I would have taken. <laughs> and if I had taken every single trade without, you know, fear, uh -huh. um, I would have won like percent of them. <laughs> you know, wow. it's just, um, it's just. But the thing is, even the ones that ended up going my way, I yeah. would get out too quick. Um, and then, but overall, the direction is right. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think that, I mean, that's just going to come with, with experience and once I, you know, gain more, I wouldn't think too much about the loss. But I think I just focus more on the loss than the, what I can, you, you know, just the overall trade. Like reading the market, you know, um, and the direction. Mm -hmm. I'm, I just need to stop, uh, you know, thinking. And if I believe that it's going to work and I see the setup, I should just take it. You know, without thinking, I think. So what is holding you back, even though you're seeing it, you're seeing like 80% of them work, what's holding you back is the fact that you still might lose? Is that what you're saying? Because I lost so much um, in the beginning, of, in, uh, you know, from July to November. And no, actually, even, I, see, I, I had a lot of swing trade positions. Actually, I got ran over in um, January. Okay. Because, um, Last year, you mean? Um, no, actually, January of this month. Okay. So, in terms of um, swing trading, I still had um, long-term swing trading positions on. Okay. And they were all on the long side. And so, wow. you know, I just I didn't exit. And um, I think, you know, that's how it got me psychologically. But that's probably why I'm not, you know, because I... But the thing is, I mean, I, I recovered. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, I, I think it, it'll, it'll... I just need to... Um, just keep working at it. But in terms of um, reading the market, mm -hmm. and I mean, I keep, I keep a spreadsheet, and um, I, 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 
I would have made so much. <laughs> <laughs> so you would have made back all of your losses and then umpteen thousands probably if you had done all the... Even the, the other day, um, we were watching, I think that day, STX or yeah. STX. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, um, and then Paul was watching WBC. Yeah. Um, I took WBC, but... Um, Why? I, I said the one was a no chance of failure. Both actually ended up moving uh, down. Yeah, um, they both worked. ST, was it STX? I don't even remember because I can't bring up the chart. Yeah, but that one, yeah. you're right, that one did move um, a lot more. But um, WDC worked too, but it was a little, a little bit more choppier. Yeah. And, um, but but that one, see, even that, I, I hear. And I was like, why did I do that? Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, basically, I have a stop and I'm moving the stop, you know, and that, that's, I think, that's a no no. You know, you're because lowering the stop. Take it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Sometimes uh, I lower it, and and I think that's you know I, either that or I just don't take the trade, you know. And but I mean I'm you know I think uh, that can be fixed. That's an easy yeah. problem. I mean, holding it a little bit longer is an easy problem. Or like take it, get half out into the first place that you would. Don't lower the stop. Keep the stop for the rest of the original place and ride the rest out. You know what I mean? Or or trailed and, and, and then he would just trail it break even. It's just about, a lot of it is mental. I mean, we talked about this in the gap class. You've got to get through past those points of things that happened in the past to you. And, and everybody's vantage point, like some people, their parameters of how much money they lost is so different from somebody else's. For you, it might be really horrendous to you, but if you talk to another person, it's like nothing to them or vice versa. Do you know what I mean? So that's why it's all mental, the person, whoever you are and how you deal with things. But obviously you know how to do it now. So what are you worried about? Sure. But yeah, I mean, I, I do know how to do it because it is do. like 80%. That's, that's really high. <laughs> I know. So let me tell you, if you make 50 grand in the spy, if you make $50,000 in that spy option, will that get you over? This mental anxiety, plus knowing all the stuff you're doing and tracking the money you made since the class and the money you would have made if you did all the trades that you didn't do, would that do it for you if you made 50 grand or something crazy, 30, 40, 50, I think that's, Yeah, I think so. I think if I had, um, because I lost so much, of my life, yeah. um, you know, I think if I had a cushion, um, a cushion yeah, I think yeah. that would make, make it easier to push the button. I can see myself getting over it. I think you will. I think you will get over it, whether it's with time or a big trade like the spy trade, you'll get over it. Because again, you know that you can do it. It's a matter of convincing that you know that you can do it. You either convince yourself you know you can do it as time goes on, because the longer the time goes on that you realize you can do it, the more you just know that you can. And nobody has to tell you that, you just know it. You just know it inside, in your heart, that I can do this thing. It doesn't matter if Melissa goes to wherever, I know I can do it without her. But the other thing is, if you have the money there as a cushion, that's like a safety net too. I think you're gonna have a good year because it's still very, very early in the year. You got this great trade going on. You're up already, like you said, you could sell it today and make three times the amount. That would be a little cushion. It would be a little more cushion you had before, an extra couple thousand dollars, like the STX, the WDC, or whatever the ones are, or the SPY, then it just, it helps your conviction. It helps your conviction that you that what I taught you works and then also that you can see it yourself in the way that I'm seeing it to do it yeah 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 like today on uh, the HAS um, that was a gap up yeah and right when it opened um, I just knew it wasn't gonna work what about that oh, let me ask you that really quickly when I say I don't like anything and it doesn't meet the criteria do you do something that's like a kamikaze or, or like doesn't rate that good or, or do you do things on your own what do you do I do things on my own, so like, <laughs> you know, um, the, what I started doing recently is I started looking at the charts, um, uh -huh. like doing homework, like after um, the market closes. Yeah. I was trying to look at it in like 30 minutes and I think, mm -hmm. and then some things you can just see it in the chart and it's going to follow through and, you know, keep going down. So I would just look at those and if they set up, then I just short those. Oh, okay. As a yeah. swing trade, you mean, or day trade? By the day trade, oh, because okay. even if it doesn't gap, um, some things on the chart it just looks like it's gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> you know, yes, I know. It's gonna fall. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just look at those, and um, yeah. So I, yeah. So if there's nothing to do, then I would just look for something. I would just do something that was on my list. Yeah. This is so great. Thank you so much for, for talking to me today. This was fantastic. 
you can do without me. And you know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, I want to say though that um, learning. See, I started. I study now on my own, but everything that that you um, you know teach is um, it's all true. <laughs> you know, what, what did you say? What did you say? I cut off there. What did you say? I said everything that you teach. You know, it's you can always use it. You know, even if you know, because now I'm st um, I'm starting to look at like the futures. Okay. You know, maybe I'm thinking of music. But um, if but if if I didn't take it with you in the beginning of the year, right? You know, it's you just give a like a solid foundation so that if you want to do other things, because you know you only trade in the morning. Yeah. And if you want to do other things, you know, it's everything that you teach still applies because you really? know because you you give. Uh, I mean, because it's just reading price, you know, mm -hmm. and so. Whether you want to, you know, just train in the morning or do other things, I think, um, you know, but I, I, I don't know. I think I would, I would probably say that the best thing that I've done in my training was, um, you know, trading with you. Really? That, you know, trade with someone. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, because there's a lot of people that are, you, just, you can't really trust them. But you were losing money last year. You didn't yeah, think you were class and you were losing? You would, you would put up these uh, YouTube videos. <laughs> And, and um, you know, I, I would watch those. Like, uh -huh. uh, and it took me about like two or three months before I, you know, decided I was going to pay you, uh -huh. you know, and take the class and, and trade with you. Uh -huh. But um, I wish I had done it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. But yeah, so, but you know, you, but you know, I would say one um, good thing about you is that you actually. The thing that made me want to be confident, and you know, you, you could just see it, and you're very positive, you know. So like, I would lose money, you know, say like in July, uh -huh. you know, watch your video. I don't know. It's just uh, you give this kind of vibe. It's very positive, I would say. Well, you know? I mean, the bottom line is that when I take a trade, I never take a trade thinking I'm going to lose. Of course, I set my assess my risk. But like the spy trade is a good trade. Like, look, that trade's going to work out, and that's like, look at it. And when I took it, and after I took it, the market. And then I stayed with the train, and I could have killed it with a partial loss at like any point in January, and then it just clip, and then they flatline those options. But it's just like when I take a trade, it doesn't mean that some trades don't work, some trades don't work. That's part of the business. But it's the point that yes, I myself believe that it's going to work if I take the trade, and you believe it's going to work too because you're putting your own money on the line. Whether it's a hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars, it's like a waste. If you don't think it's going to work, why would you even take it? You know. But I've been trading my system for years that I just really really believe it and I know that it works and and every time I talk to somebody new like talking to you today this helps my conviction this helps my conviction do you understand it's like I don't even know you and I just am talking to you now and you're somebody like on the planet and you did the class a couple months ago but it's the point that that you found mine and you did the class and now you're making money because you took my class I've helped you which is a good feeling and I, I honest to god I mean I'd love you to make a half a million dollars in that spy trade, but I think if you're up 50 grand, you gotta get out of half of it. But I, I mean, I would love you to make like a million dollars and hold the whole thing, but it's too risky to hold it past being up a lot of money. I mean, you really, really still could make like a hundred grand. I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see what we hit up over the high and we'll look at it. But I know you're gonna make a lot of money on that trade. And, and that's what's so great. And you would have kept losing probably for six more months until you figure something out or take another class or, or maybe you would have quit. Because or you wouldn't have been able to keep going and you would have been hit hard and said, I can't do this thing anymore. I was just one day, I was just watching a video and then I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> right? Was and it so, about gaps or was it about the market? Like, what, it, was it, it was a webinar? One of your, um, your webinar. And then, you know, I would watch. I think that went on for like two, three months. Okay. And then I finally, I think what it was that I lost so much money, I was like, I can't do myself. Really? Yeah. And then so. And you know, there's this lady. You know, she's making so much money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and you know what? It, what it was too. I tried because I, I I study the markets like every day. Yeah. And, um, I tried to figure it out by myself first. You know. Which is fine. I mean, that's what I I did, but it was hell for three years. But I mean, you could have gone through it, but it's hard. It's really, really hard to figure it out yourself, and most people run out of money. You either run out of money, you run out of steam, or it drags you down, and you, you just, it's hard, mentally. Yeah, so, and I yeah. was, was, you know, reading about apps and things like that, but I just couldn't figure out, um, it just didn't make sense. 
right? And so I already knew um, about gaps before taking your class. Okay. So I took the class, I was very, um, like, I was really looking forward to it, oh, you know? okay. Because uh, I was like, you know, I really could know what she's doing. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then, and um, yeah, so I took the class. It's so helpful. I, I just, I learned, you know, so much. Like, and, um, and I, did, I, I took it again on the next two weeks. Yeah. A week after. I took it twice. Okay. Not, I didn't take the first day, but I took the second day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then um, by then, you know, I did everything made sense. Like, I, I felt like I really got it. Yeah. And then, um, and then it was just training with you in the morning. Mm -hmm. And, um, so, um, I mean, I, I, I feel very confident, like, in, um, reading You should. Mind. You should feel terrific about what you've done. I mean, you're, you, in the scope of life, you really haven't been training for that many years. So you took your hits at the beginning just too quick, too fast. But a lot of people, a lot of people do. You're, you're lucky that you do, or you might not have been able to carry through, take the class, and keep training. So I'm glad that you found me quick. Yeah, and I like your um, trading style because it's very simple. Uh -huh. You know, you just read price action, you know, and so I'm so glad I um, got, um, you know, trading in that direction. Yeah. Because I think I could have wasted a lot of money taking, like, you know, crappy stuff, you know, mm -hmm. classes where they teach, like, indicators and stuff. Yeah. But you don't do that. You no, just my trade. charts are really clean. I mean, I don't know if you yeah. have your charts just like mine or not. Do you have your charts just like mine, or do you have other stuff on there you use? No, or? I don't use any indicators. Okay. I just read. I just, it's just like yours. Okay, good. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad I um I, you know, I found you because and that's another thing because I because I read these stories about people saying that you know they wasted so much money taking you know, all these classes, mm -hmm. but I don't have that. You know, I'm, the only class that I've taken is your class. And oh, this I, is a, the only class you took is my class? Yeah. You never took any other classes? No, no. Wow. That's, I, um, you know, I like to, to uh, I feel like I could do it on my own. So I, I read a lot. And so, uh -huh. but I just do it by myself. So I was like, yeah. if I'm going to take somebody's class, I'm going to take Great. I'm so your class. Great. I'm so glad. I mean, the, the, the market is one of these things that even, you know, very intelligent people, it's like it's like a mystery until you figure it out. But I think the one good thing I did is that I honed in on just this one thing, which was the gaps. But I'm telling you, that is it. that's how I call the market. Like because I was reading the bearish gaps in the market, not seeing them to be weak enough to break it, and then I was reading the bullish gaps. So that's how I was reading it. So ultimately, whatever you choose to do, learning the gaps can help you with everything because it is about reading what the institutions are doing, and that's what happens to the gaps. Yeah, and the thing that really helped me was um, also when um, I, I also took your trends class. Oh, which I, yeah, that's right. You did. You did. Yeah. And then um, this is what you said in the class was you said um, by the follow. You see, it's once you know it. You know, it's, it sounds intuitive, but unless you actually, someone says it, you don't know it. <laughs> you know, and this is what you said that made everything, like, come together. You said, it's just such a simple statement. You said, just by reading um, the gaps, you know, you can follow the institutional money. You know, like, so when, when some, I think well, the example you used was Netflix, where it, like, yes. gapped up huge, you know? Yes. And um, even though it went down, um, if you trade, if you try to short that, you know, you're going against the power money. Yes. And, you know, it's, so now when I look at gaps, I think of, you know, where is the money going, you know? Yes. And, and so, see, that's just a so simple thing, but no one knows it because they don't, you know, they just see it as a gap. You know, they don't see. Yeah, they're living in a flat like this, and I'm yeah. looking at, like, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so that's helped me tremendously. You know, just seeing the big picture, just, 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 just context. You know, because before I would need um, just the uh, just the one minute chart, right? And yeah. You can't read the market like that because yeah. you have to look at it. You have to step back. And, yes. Yeah. So that. So you, yeah. So you put everything in context. You know. Thank so, you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it just makes perfect sense. Thank it's, you. it's all. Um, kind of 
you know, it's logical, you know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're a very good teacher, you know. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I do, I, I believe in God, you know, and so I just think that, you know, God didn't want me to fail, so he. <laughs> you know, I, I always say that when people, I, I really say that the people that find me and take my class are meant to find me because I literally just started the business out of no the videos on YouTube, like when I started it, you know, back at the end of 2012. And no one know who I was, was, and a lot of people don't know who I am now. I mean, I have more of a following now than I ever did, but I mean, I didn't even get the website done, and now, and now the website really doesn't even say everything that I do enough about the market. It's more about me, and that has to be redone again. I mean, there's so many things, and you say, how is people finding me that people that find me are meant to find me? Because like you said, there's so much to choose out there. Where, How do you know to go to this person and that person? You go to a bigger company than mine because it's really just me and now I've hired Paul but it's the point that I'm just one person that's just doing it but what I know is like amazing but it's because I, I did a lot of work and figured it out myself and and I, I just never thought I'd be teaching people I mean I just never in my life thought I'd be talking or teaching someone like you to make a difference so I do believe like like fate or whatever it is and I feel like that with people and that's why I really want people to make it I want people to make it and I want to help them and I want them to make money. And you're, I mean, that is above and beyond, you, you know, the price of the class or anything else. I've taught you something you can use to learn for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. But we're going to do this again because you were so great and I want an update of where you're at with everything. Maybe we'll talk like every couple weeks or something like that now that we talked. Okay. But honestly, I'm so glad that you said you're going to get out of half that tree when it's up a crazy amount because I want to make sure that you feel that emotionally to have a huge, massive win like that. I think it'll be yeah. good for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A big mm -hmm. lump of sunny. And there'll be other ones. Like I came out with this options letter, like I've been studying them, there'll be other ones. I'll make other crazy calls. I, you know what I mean? It's about seeing it far out. And I was, I was, I was able to see this far out. I never anticipated we'd fall like we did when I took it myself in December, but I'll call it because I saw the money in there and the money mm -hmm. didn't leave. Even though we dropped, it really didn't leave. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just like you said about the Netflix. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the Google is the same thing. Google is the same thing. Go look at that chart. Study that chart. There's something there in that one too. Okay. Okay. And we can talk about that in the room this week. In fact, remind me, I'll talk about the Google. Very similar, very similar to the thing in the Netflix. And, and, and just remember you said that like, we can talk about it in the room this week. Okay. okay. I'm going to meet you someday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Have a good night.